Well, 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 Smash is uploading another Pokemon video, so you know what that means, it must be a new set! And, surprise, surprise, it's another Japanese one. Stellar Miracle. This set, uh, brings in something new, Stellar Terra Types, which, uh, we can see from the Big Tortoise. I can't remember what it's called. Terrapagos has its first card in this set. I think Hydrapple gets its first card in this set as well. But yeah, the uh, the new Japanese set, Stellar Miracle, is here. We've got two boxes of it to crack today. Usual. Usual business. I don't know if I like the look of these Stellar Terra types yet, whether it's just a bit much. But um, look, we'll, I'm sure we'll see at least one in person. Maybe even an alt art. That would be nice. So let's let's have a look at this brand new set. This only released, so I'm opening this as of Monday evening, Australia time. It released the Friday before in Japan. So let's get started and have a look. We've got a hoot hoot, a Rhyhorn, uh, yeah, uh, reboot the second one, Score Bunny, a Noctowl Hollow, and a Cradle Eye. Now, there's plenty of cool new galleries in this set, as there always is whenever, you know, a new set comes out. Plenty of cards for me to chase my Ultra Rare Deck series. Nothing from Kanto, though. From from memory and having a quick flick through the list here. No, there's nothing. There's no fresh Dex entries from Kanto. In fact, there's only one Kanto Pokemon that has a pretty card. And that's Lapras. And Lapras is one of the uh, stellar Terra type cards that are in this set. So, oh, there's, okay. Whoa, all right. Well, there's our first Stellar Terra type. My camera has no idea what it wants to do with this brightness. Uh, let's <laughs> oh, wow, Cinderace Stellar Terra type. That's, look, I've always said it and I'll continue to say it. The Terra types on the Japanese cards, the quality is just stunning. Is it just another fancy gimmick that we're going to stop caring about as soon as the set's done? Or is it going to, is it going to hold? Is it going to hold and look good as the set ages? I hope so. You know, we reflect back on, um, on a lot of older things, bits and bobs they did that uh, have been sort of slightly repeated in recent times. Like, say, say stuff like, that's a, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of the turtle. Wait, I've got it right in front of me. Dreadnor and Tootle. Um, some trends that they've sort of repeated that, uh, that held up well. Delta Species cards, for example. And then when they brought in the Terra types, we're like, this is pretty cool. Lightning type Tyranitar, you know, bit of a throwback, stuff like that. It did well. Um, so I don't know whether these, these will be similar. These are being, from what I've seen, or I, <laughs> I saw one article, so from what I've seen, um, people are comparing these a little bit to that of the crystal type Pokemon from the Gen 2, the late Gen 2 sets. Like the, the Nido King, the Ho-Oh, the Golem. So, yeah, I mean, maybe the alt arts, the, the regular ones. Look, we're going to see, we're going to see plenty of them, I'm sure. Who is this? Oh, I remember him. I, from the very limited amount of Scarlet and Violet I've played, I remember this man. Does he have a full art in this set? What's his name? Kofu. He does. He has a full art. He doesn't have an alt art. Now, speaking of alt arts, hopefully we can pull... I'd like to pull what I believe to be probably the alt art chase card in this set. Standard Japanese practice. We're chasing a waifu. Lacey. I believe is the is the probably the chase card. Oh, there's our first gallery. Oh, that looks so good. Look at the colors through that. I'm liking the vibrance of colors in this set so far. So, what do I want to see? I think I want to get Okay, so there's a few there's a few nice galleries that are going to be they're going to come into play for when we get into the later sets for my ultra rare decks eventually oh here we go another rainbow terror a stellar terror type a galvantula this time that looks pretty good is there even regular EXs or are they all stellar okay there's a regular 
Orthworm EX and a Metacham EX. Okay, there's there's some regular EXs. We have just gotten lucky and gotten two out of the four? Two out of the four Terra Stellar Terras? Yeah, we've got two so we've gotten two out of the four Stellar Terras. Which is nice. I wonder if we'll be able to get all four. Surely across the two boxes, we'll be able to get all four, right? Now, the galleries. There is... Oh, yeah, there's some fresh ace specs, of course. So we should see one of these per box. Um, but the the galleries, there's some nice ones. I think there's one of this dude. Archelodon? No, that's the basic type. Oh, there's another one of the cute galleries, a Joltik. I like that. That's cute. That is a very cute looking card. That looks so much nicer in person than it does on my screen. So, okay, we're gonna only get one more. Um, there's so uh, there's some really nice ones across. It seems to be favoring. There seems to be a lot of favoring lately towards a few Gen sort of three Gen three oddities, a couple Gen two as well. So there's a Noctowl and a Ladian galleries, which is nice. There's a Gulpin, a Metatite. All of those sound pretty good to me. There's a Lilip. There's a Dash Bun. No. Fido. There's a Dash Bun EX. I believe it is. There is a Dash Bun EX, yes. <laughs> I think I want to get the Gulpin one because he's just swallowing an entire cake whole. Reboot? Is that Reboot? Yes, there's a Reboot gallery. Is that Reboot? Yeah, Reboot Gallery as well. Oh, okay, well, there's our third gallery. Turtonator, I believe it is. If I'm not mistaken, this is a card from the Sun and Moon era, which I am not familiar with the Pokemon. But, that is really cute. I like this art style. I love gallery cards. They're up there with my favorite cards as a general. Let's see what our next EX will be. Plus, we're also looking for our old art. If we can, if we can hit big, I'll be very happy. What's that purr ugly? Get out of here. Ooh, okay, there we go. We got a regular EX. We got a Medicham. Oh, sick card. Um, we got a regular Medicham EX. Nice, nice. So that's a non-terraform one, non-stellar Terra. Where is our? Both our Ace Spec and our Ultra Rare. Super Rare. Applin? We got a... Root? Is that Root Fossil? Blame me out. Melmetal. Finion. No. Luminion, sorry. I remember the Luminion... Uh, Galarian Gallery was the card that really got me hooked back into new Pokemon. Oh, okay, there's our Terraform. Uh, not Terraform, our Ace Spec. There's our Ace Spec, look at that. That's nice. Beautiful card, beautiful card. So what's this one? This is Venerable Tree. We've got six packs left. Six? Six packs left. And we are looking for one more EX and our big boy hit. We've got a... Mind food? What's that? No, I need to know this. I should know this. Where are you? It is mind food. Nice. A gulpin. A ladybug. Ooh, a long boy. We've got the raging bolt. Hollow. Very nice. The lantern. I swear, if it's at the back last pack, there is way too many predictable patterns within Japanese packs. Uh. Clang? Is it cling, clang, and then cling, clang? Is that right? <laughs> it is. No, it is. It's cling, clang, and then cling, clang. And that one was clang. God, they didn't go the most creative route with that one. Oh, all right. Okay, we've got a full art. Not that we didn't get an alt art, but we've got a full art. We've got the full art Cinderace Stellar Terror. That is a beautiful card. There is so much color in that. All right, well, there's our full art. I think we still got one more EX sitting in here. I wonder if we'll get... I want to get the Lapras. 
actually no, we should get the the the, the Terrapagos really, shouldn't we? We should aim for that. Because it's a brand new Pokemon in this wall. Brand new to the cards. Glamow, a... Oh, what's the Apple thing? Diplin? Yeah. Applin and Diplin. And then there's the... The Terra... Hydraplin. It's the next one. Okay, we should get that. We'll hopefully get that one as well. Because that's... I do believe that is new to card form. Uh, what was that? That was a Drifloon, Kling, Perugly, Togedemaru, and a Berry. Alright. Is it EX in this pack? Or the last one? We got a Carnivine. We got a Tort Tortuga. Tiatuga. Okay. And a. Caracosta. Yeah, look, I... Number 565. Oh, that's from a generation that I played. I should know better. <laughs> Alright, we have an EX in this pack. Guaranteed hit. Coming up. What is it? It's a Lapras. I'm calling it. Uh... No, it's a big worm. We have the Orthworm. It does have legs. Why does it have legs? I thought it... I didn't know it had legs. I don't remember seeing legs in any of the previous cards. I just remember seeing it leaping out the sand majestically. That's box number one. We... Look, we did right. Because the, the galleries are nice. I do like the galleries. No, I'm not mad about the Cinderace. It could have been a... Ow, it could have been a worse one. It could have been... I don't know. Sorry, Orthworm. Could have been a full art of Orthworm or a Metacham. All right, box number two. Get your predictions in. What are we getting? Are we hitting the alt art? What galleries are we going to see? So there's a couple gold cards too. There's six alt arts. Um, there is the dash bun EX, which is just bread dog hanging out with other breads. There's the Terrapagos alt art as well, which I can't tell. Ooh, this is our first hit. We've got a Noctowl gallery. I like it. I like it. Cute card. Cute art style. There's our first one. Um, and then we've got Lacey and Briar as the trainers. So what is that Terrapagos Alt Art EX doing? It's kind of just looking real celestial through space. I do wonder what it's worth. I would, yeah, I, I kind of want to look up some of the prices on in this set just to see what's what. But, um, don't know. Don't know, to be honest. They could, uh, they could buy very wildly. And it's, it's so early. It's never easy to tell. But if there is a chase waifu, and, you know, it becomes a chase waifu rather than, oh, there's a, a female trainer card alt art in this set, it, it changes things. But I feel like Lacey's popular. I don't know, purple hair. It's, <laughs> I don't know how it works, man. I don't, I don't collect them. I don't chase the waifu cards, but I know, other than the fact that they have good value. Um, all right, we've got a Rabu gallery. What's he doing? Just kicking a snowball? Kind of basic in comparison. It's not bad. Still want to see that gulpin. We're still in with a shot, right? Getting that gulpin. Please. I really want the gulpin. I also really want to see the Lapras. And the Terrapagos. We've got to get the poster boy for the set, right? It's not fair if you don't. Yay! There he is! Wait, is it? Yeah, that's the Terrapagos. Honestly, I can't really tell what's happening in that picture other than the fact that it does look like a turtle shell. But there it is. There we go. There's the poster boy of the box, the Terrapagos. And there's the other turtle. Yeah, I think I like these um, these Stellar Terras. They look really fantastic, especially with Japanese quality. That Japanese printing quality will not be beaten by the mere mediocre quality of English printing. The Japanese will not be beaten there. And I'm okay with it. We got a cling, we got a dog, we got a bird, we got a berry, and we got a grrr. That's not it. <laughs> I want the gulpin gallery. Oh, do I see pink? No, I'm going crazy. We got a Rhyhorn though. And a Drifloon. And a Dreadnought. What is going on here? He is so shiny. 
I thought this thing was legendary at one point. Is it? Kind of looks like it's just hanging out in a building there. I don't. I don't remember what goes on with most of the lore in Pokemon for the like legendaries and stuff these days. Oh, what is that? What is that spicy texture? Ooh, is it a is it a terror? A stellar terror, or is it something bigger? Oh, it's a stellar terror. Ooh, it's the Cinderace again. Okay, we'll take a double up. It happens. It's gonna happen from time to time. That's. I mean, we technically got three of it now. I swear to God, if we get another full out of that, it'll be like um, Mask of Change. Is it that the Japanese one, Mask of Change, all over again? Which was, I think I opened, I opened four boxes of Mask of Change, and I got the same Path Flame Mask Alt Art three times out of no, it's out of five boxes. I got it three times out of five boxes, and I'm like, what? How does that work? How, how do the odds happen like that? It's just, you're not even supposed to be like getting the alt arts regularly. I don't know what the seeding is, but it ain't three and five, that's for sure. And it's especially not three and five for the exact same one. And of course it wasn't the most valuable one, but you know. Take the good with the bad. We got a lawnmower. We got um Crispin. And a Thundarus. No. Thundarus? No. Yes. No. Yes. Tornadus. I should know that. He doesn't look like thunder, he looks like wind. Having a slow brain day today. But hey, what's new? What do you reckon of this set? Let me know in the comments section. Do you think you're going to pick up this set? In Japanese? In English? Also, it's a little late in the video, but I should give a quick shout out to Charlie over at Cardonomics. I'll link it in the uh, link him in the description. He's my go-to for Japanese product. Oh, there's our full art. We got the turtle. We didn't get an alt art, but we got the full art Terrapagos. Yes, full art. Yeah, it is. Of course it is. What else could that possibly be? Oh my God! Look at all the colors through here. Look at that, that's nutty. There's our full art. Is it possible to still get us something else fancy in the box? Maybe. I've done it before. Like that 151 box I did on stream. Uh, about a month ago, I think, where I, <laughs> I pulled, so we'd pulled the Master Ball already. We'd already pulled a full art. And then literally last pack, had an alt art Charizard in it. It wasn't a god pack. It was just a Charizard in there. And I'm like, what? I think I was expecting a regular EX as well. But hey, anything can happen with the Japanese box. But probably not that anything. Well, we got the full art poster boy. So I'm happy we've got two full art Stellar Terrors over, you know, just some of the other regular full arts. Well, there's the Dash Bunny X. Really don't care for this Pokemon. This feels like this generation's Raditor kind of thing. It's just, oh, here's a Raditor EX. Sorry, Raticate. Here's a Raticate EX. Like, thanks. We've only got one more EX to get. We've got one more gallery as well, and our Ace Spec. And as far as Ace Specs go, I don't know. I. When you get ace specs in Japanese, it's just... I don't, I don't know how to figure out what one's good or not. Don't know how to work it out. It's hard to say, you know. Oh, no, we doubled up! It's a cute card, though. It's a very cute card. The Joltic Gallery. We'll take it. We'll take it. It's a, dub it's a double up, but hey, look. You can't, you can't win them all. And it's fine because this Friday... Friday morning Australia time Thursday evening America time I'll be opening another couple boxes on stream so come check that out oh there we go okay we've got the hydrapple that's sick look at him I ooh, I wonder what this card does two energy 30 plus ability something to do with a grass energy I'm always curious now Ever since I went to a, um, 
ever since I went to a couple pre-releases, and you know, with a brand new set, and you get the little, you get your little deck, you get your, where are they, do I have one in here? I don't have one in here, you stand, you know, you get your little building battle box with your stamped cards and your four packs, and then you just battle it out, woo -hoo -hoo. we got something fresh in here. We got a Milsuri win, then we've got the Deluxe Bomb. It is, it's the Deluxe Bomb. That looks like the uh, the bombs that the Green Goblin throws at Spider-Man. It also looks a little like Samus in pool form. <laughs> it is neither of those things. I have no idea what it does. We'll figure it out later. Um, I don't think we have anything left in these packs, if I'm being honest. For Lynx, something imp. Finian, Grimmsnarl, uh, Talonflame. I think we've got five packs left and they're gonna all have nothing. Cause I think I've gotten four EXs. We've got our full art. We've got our A spec. We've got our three galleries. These may be boring packs. Or maybe there's one more EX lurking in there. Uh, Slowbro, surely. Surely there's something. Just a little something extra. Surely we can't end on six dud packs. Come on, Wooloo, Impidimp, Cubone. Oh, I thought that was an EX for a sec. We're gonna Iron Bolt it, not Terrakian. We've got eyebrows. Come on. Just slide a little old at the back of the pack for me, would you? Just a cheeky. Not a tall order, is it? We've got a Lily. Electabuzz, Phalanx. Uh, Al Creamy. A lantern. Oh, come on. Really? We're going to go... <laughs> that's... See, that's the downside to the Japanese boxes is... You kind of... You kind of know when you're done, I think. Yeah, look at that. There's, uh, nothing in that one. Look at that. There we go. Look, you can, you can know when you're done. I should have just wrapped the video up there. But just in case there was something else, you got to have a look, you know. Well, that is nice i do i like this i like the way these look i'm looking forward to see how the english printers butcher these no they, they'll still be all right they just won't quite be this good that's gonna do us thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you subscribe so you can catch all the future videos that come out and pop by my streams if you feel like joining in a live stream come say hi yeah stay tuned for more videos i've got some more stuff coming hopefully i can get back to some more regular uploads soon we'll see how we go hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching Make sure you leave a like and bye.